one, two, three. Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> and frame. Action. I am so happy. I, I, I have an amazing life. Now I'm going to scratch my eyes out. You think I'm funny? I'm an emergency. But it's not my fault, alright? My DNA is fucked. You can ask Dr. Hecker, okay? That's my psychiatrist. She said the problem was like congenital or something. I don't know. She was on the phone. I'd also really love to thank my parents. And God and my boyfriend. Especially my boyfriend. When we were together, everything was so clear, you could hear a friggin' fork tinging in Mozambique. Now my head could explode and I wouldn't even notice. My name is Tracy Berkowitz. Fifteen. Just a normal girl who hates herself. And nobody can do anything about this. Because I ain't gonna talk to them about it. I mean, I'm not gonna go back to them, those freaking retards. Do you remember in the news when two retards had a kid? Well, that was me. Just kidding. I kind of like to ride a bus every night, like different one, depending on my mood, you know? Like when I'm depressed, I like to be around other depressed people. And happy people friggin' depress me, you know? They're so... Sometimes I just gotta close my eyes. And sometimes I just have to scream. Shut your stupid day glow mouths before I stick you on the front of my bike and go night riding. I have this condition. Makes me want to kill and fuck all the time. Lucky for us, it's in remission. But really, I had to run away. Absolutely had to. Because my parents are like a couple Helen Kellers. All they do is feel. And you know what? It really sucks out loud when people don't trust you. Like my dad, who's always saying I exaggerate. Like, Tracy, I don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Well, how do you know what's real and what's not when the whole world is inside your head? Because what's made up is usually better than what's real anyway. It's pretty much a no-brainer, actually. And you know, ever since I've been on this bus, no one will even sit near me. They won't even talk to me, for Christ's sakes. And they're all breathing through their, through their gross mouths. Oh, she smells like a friggin' sewer crocodile. But look, it really isn't my fault. I came from a hole. Like, if you met my mom, you would never believe that's where I came from.